The world of 3D has grown from companies providing softwares for only the rich to companies now begging the general public to use their softwares. Most companies providing free software even claim their free software provides high-end professional features that match industrial expensive softwares. The sad news is most people still don't buy the idea of achieving anything professional quality-wise using free products. Well, that could be true, but that certainly doesn't debunk the fact that some paid softwares were also sacrificed by huge companies to be released as free to download, with all its quality features still intact. In today's video, I'll be talking about some of the best free 3D modeling programs you can download for free and work on professional jobs with it without encountering license or quality issues. They also range from being easily used by even the newest beginners to having learning curves that can take years to traverse. Without wasting much time, let Das Studio is a software program released in 2005, which was sold back then at a cost price of 250, there about USD. In 2012, Das Studio announced their 3D software was going to be free at no cost. The reason behind making the software completely free was simple. According to the co-founder Dan Farr, Das Studio wanted to use this strategy to expand their territory. Meanwhile. The DAS Studio software itself contributed only 20% of the income the company made. The remaining 80% came from sales of add-ons and digital characters, so they actually didn't see themselves losing anything if the software became free. DAS Studio is a powerful 3D creation and rendering tool that streamlines many of the medium's more technical aspects, such as modeling, animating, posing, setting up lighting, and rendering. They also host a massive online library full of DAS ready content created by professional artists, allowing you to assemble amazing characters and scenes quickly. It's helpful for hobbyists and professionals and can be downloaded for free. As a DAS user, everything rendered by you belongs to you and you are free to do whatever you want with it, including making money from it without any strike or license issues. Blender is published under the GNU license, which simply prevents anyone to put restrictions on Blender. Blender is arguably the most popular 3D design software in this day and age, and has a huge active community who shares their STL files and 3D models as well as information online. A quick Google or YouTube search will yield thousands of results with people eager to showcase their 3D designs or teach you how to use the Blender 3D software. Though it has a steeper learning curve, Blender has huge depth to it, making it one of the best complete free 3D software tools out there. This depth makes it a very versatile 3D modeling tool, with users ranging from film VFX, video games, 3D model designs, and it also uses a 3D design software for 3D printing. Furthermore, Blender even comes with an integrated gaming engine, as well as a detailed sculpting tool video editing and compositing capabilities. Now, this is a concern I'm trying to raise for any upcoming artist. Don't get too comfortable with Blender because it seems to have every post-production feature in it. Blender's compositing and video editing feature for me isn't a good place to start from. If you want to take those fields seriously, there are other better professional dedicated tools like DaVinci for video editing and Blackmagic Fusion for compositing which can be downloaded completely for free and used on any professional setting. These are the two main problems I have with most Blender users who want to video edit and composite with the software at all costs. The truth is, you are limiting your skills and for that matter, doing yourself a great disservice. Aside these two main issues, Blender is a powerhouse in the 3D business and is preferred both by absolute beginners and pro 3D artists. If you've loved this video so far, then a sub to my channel will be very much appreciated. I wouldn't speak much about Hexagon because it's owned by Daz Studio, so I did my best in putting out all the details through Daz Studio, the first software I spoke about. Now, if you've got a Daz Studio account, then you are actually entitled to Hexagon as well. It's a free 3D modeling app developed by Evia back in 2001. 
it was acquired by DAS in 2006 and has been very sporadically updated ever since. Hexagon is simply a subdivision surface modeler. DAS Studio developers promote Hexagon as a way of building clothes and props for its figures. Not a bad option though, but DAS Studio is still a better option. Wings 3D is a free open source subdivision modeler which has built in support for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, and has been in development since 2001. Like all subdivision modelers, it enables you to build an underlining form made of polygons and then generate a smoothing shape by subdividing the mesh. Wings 3D is a pretty basic 3D modeling app, and the user interface is a bit unusual as well, but it's fairly user-friendly. I would personally recommend Wings 3D to people who want to try out basic 3D modeling to see if it's something they would like before deciding on spending money on any 3D software. Just see it as a starter for your career. It's very basic. There are now four versions of SketchUp. Studio with an advanced pro feature. There is SketchUp Pro for all professionals, SketchUp Shop for makers and designers, and then the SketchUp Free version. As its name indicates, it's the free version of the solution, available directly from a web browser. SketchUp free version provides a library of free models for those who need a helping hand, called 3D Warehouse. The free version also delivers 10 GB of storage in the cloud via Tremble Connect for easy project sharing. This solution is designed for personal use only. Note that you will not be able to add any extensions to this version which personally to me limits your creativity. In conclusion, I would say SketchUp free version is very basic, very much basic than Wings 3D. Initially, I left Houdini Apprentice out of this video due to its limitations, but later I decided to add it for the sake of people who want to try out Houdini before getting the paid version. I can promise you Houdini Apprentice gives you the feel of someone who works in a prison. The original Houdini is a 3D animation and visual effect tool used widely throughout the media industry for film, broadcast, entertainment, and visualization. Its cheapest version costs just a little under $2,000, yeah, but its maker's side effects offers Apprentice version for free. Houdini Apprentice allows you to access all the features of the full version in order to develop your skills in the software and work on projects from start to finish. Now, the Apprentice version has some huge restrictions and they are as follows. 1. Non-commercial projects, so it's only developed for learning purpose, not to make money of it. 2. Apprentice cannot be used in the same pipeline as commercial version of Houdini. 3. Digital assets created in Apprentice cannot be used with Houdini Engine or Houdini Engine Indie. 4. Apprentice uses its own file format for saving scenes and assets. Weird, right? The next number is Houdini Apprentice is restricted to 1280 by 720 when rendering. 6. Rendering to file formats other than PICNC are word mark. 8. Apprentice does not work with third-party renderers. And 9. Apprentice licenses cannot be floated on the network. So this is what you will be dealing with if you go in for Houdini Apprentice. You are limited to 1280 resolution. You cannot share your saved works and rendering in any file format other than PIC and C. There is also Fusion 360 for students which I hear is very good, but personally, I have never opened it before, so I don't have enough data on it, but hey, that's all I have on the best 3D modeling softwares you can download right now and start using without spending a dime.